A popular Joliet rodeo has been hit with a temporary restraining order after an animal rights group documents alleged animal abuse. It's a story investigative reporter Lourdes Duarte has been following. She's here now with more. Lourdes? Yeah. Good afternoon to you. This is part of a Mexican-style rodeo act, which is very popular not just in Illinois, but really around the country. They are well attended with musical acts, food, and alcohol being a big part of the experience. They can operate no problem as long as owners follow animal welfare rules. Will County State's Attorney James Glasgow turned to the courts after video of the animals landed on his desk. They're basically running for their lives, being chased on horseback and then getting pulled around at full speed where they just come down into an uncontrolled crash. This is part of the video that Steve Hindy was hoping would make authorities react. The steer's leg severely injured during a Joliet Labor Day rodeo act. Hindy says as far as he could tell, the animal didn't get the proper care that day. He should have been secluded. A veterinarian, if the veterinarian wasn't on site, should have been called immediately. And, I mean, the animal was going to have to be put down. No, it did not happen. Certainly didn't happen in the almost three hours that we were there. Hindi, who leads the organization showing animals respect and kindness, or SHARK, has been capturing images like this for decades all around the country. He says many of them go ignored until this weekend. Well, County State's Attorney James Glasgow has filed an emergency temporary restraining order against the Horseman Association Club of the North of Joliet, which runs a rodeo venue known as La Herradura on Briggs Road. It attracts thousands of people each year. Glasgow described what he saw in the video that led him to file the order. They were doing tail stripping, uh, where they would actually rip the, the tail, the skin off the tail. Uh, they were tripping horses um, and then uh, using the electric prod, uh, not on their posterior, but on their heads. He says in this particular case, the behavior doesn't follow the Humane Care of Animals Act. It just so happens Glasgow wrote the Illinois Animal Torture Statute and is standing by it. What we did here is a very is available to any local jurisdiction, and it was extremely effective. Um, you know, the the attorney came in and realized, look, they've got a money making operation there at, at their rodeo, and that will be completely shut down unless they obey these these simple rules. And the animal rights group Shark has also filed a lawsuit in Boone County, accusing the county of violating its own zoning rules by issuing permits where alleged animal cruelty is taking place. The Will County State's Attorney's Office says that this weekend they went back to that Joliet rodeo and they say that they did obey the judge's orders and so they continue to operate. Another hearing, though, is scheduled for later in the year. By the way, we did reach out to the Horsemen's Association Club by email and by phone, but they did not respond to our request for comment. So again, we'll keep you posted on how this evolves. Oh, the details very Tough disturbing. to watch. Yeah, 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 yeah. of course. Yeah. All right, Lourdes, thanks.